today's session i am going to discuss about how to design and gate on or gate using pmos logic so previous videos we discussed the design concept of not gate and universal gate using pmos so this session i am going to discuss and gate on or gate using pmos so before saying this video if you are watching first time in my channel kindly subscribe and support us to make lot of videos now we move on the session so first to discuss and operation so and gate let me draw the symbol of and gate so it's a symbol input of and gate is a b c the boolean expression for and gate is a dot b so in pmos logic dot operation present in the boolean expression pmos connecting parallel so it's a first rule so plus operator present in the boolean expression pmos transistor connecting series so using these two rules i am going to draw the pmos structure for and gate truth table this and gate it has a two inputs and one output a and b so this two variable input provide four combinations of inputs 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so output is 0 0 0 1 so you know the basic property of and gate you studied in digital electronics any one of the input is low the corresponding output also low so it's a truth table of and gate now i am going to design the and gate of operation using pmos transistor so first line represent vdd next line represent vss so this vdd and vss is the power supply for and and gate so in this and gate we have two variables so these two variables or consist of two transistors So T1 transistor, this one is T2 transistor. T1 transistor input is A. T2 transistor input namely called as B. So in this Boolean expression, dot operator is present. So dot present in the sense PMOS transistor is connected parallel. So these two transistors are connecting parallel. So it's a pull down resistor. Output we get from so get between the pull up network and pull down resistor. So it's an output. So now I verify the output of the circuit with truth table. So let me take the first input value A value zero, B value zero. So A value zero, B value zero. So in this case both the transistors are turn on. So T one transistor turn on, T two transistor turn on. So VDD is connected to output through T1 transistor on T2 transistor. So output of this logic circuit is one, but actual output of the truth table is zero. So it's a invalid output. If I need to get the valid output in the sense, just I connect one inverter in the output of this PMOS logic. So it's the inverter circuit. How could we get from pull up one, pull down motor? So we get the pull up one, pull down network. So input of the inverter is one. So in this case, the transistor T3. So T3 is turn off. So output of this circuit C value equal to zero. So we can get the correct result zero. So I am taking one more uh, values. So A value one, B value one. So A one, B one. So in this case, these two transistors are turn off. So output of this logic circuit is zero. So zero is given to the input of inverter. So this T three transistor turn on. So output of this logic circuit is one. Just comparing these two results. So input is one one. The corresponding output is one. So in this circuit also, you can get the result. one so next i am going to design 
or gate first i draw the symbol of or gate inputs are a and b so output is c the boolean expression for this or gate a plus b now i write the truth table so in this logic gate it has a two input variable a b and one output variable c so these two variables creating four combinations of input 0001011 so output of the circuit is 0 plus 0 0 0 plus 1 1 1 plus 0 1 1 plus 1 1 so it's a truth table of or gate now i am going to design pmos structure of or gate so as usual first i draw the power supply line vdd on vss so in this or gate also we have a two variables so i need a two transistors so in this or operation the boolean expression plus is present so plus represent pmos transistors are connected in series So it's a pull down resistor. Input of T1 is A, input of T2 is B. So output is get between pull up network and pull down network. So now I verify the output values with truth table. Let me take the input 0 and 1. So A value 0, B value 1. So in this case, the T1 transistor is turned on. T2 transistor is turn off, it goes to high impedance state. The output of the logic circuit is 0. So, so in this case, there is no current flow between VDD and output. So, output value is said to be 0. But actual output is 1, but it is an invalid result. If you need to get the valid result, so just add one inverter in the output of this circuit. Now, we can get the result C. So output value is 0. So this 0 is given to the T3 transistor. Now T3 transistor turn on. So VDD is connected to output through T3 transistor. Now the result of the circuit is 1. Truth favorite result also 1. So I verified one more input. A value 0, B value 0. So A value 0, B value 0. So in this case, T1 and T2. So both the transistors are turn on. So VDD connect to output through T1 and T2. So in this case, output of the circuit is 1, but actual output 0. So this circuit provides the result is 1. So it's an invalid result. So this 1 is given to the input of this inverter. The T3 transistor is turn off. So in this case, C value is goes to 0. So both the result are same. So I hope you understand the concept very well. If you are watching first time in my video, kindly subscribe and support us to make a lot of videos. Thanks for watching my channel. Thank you.